A hurricane can create a rapidly changing situation, and if you're on vacation, you need to be able to deal with it with minimal hassles while keeping your family safe. Before the storm hits, you should develop an emergency plan to determine where you're going to go and how you'll get there. Remember, in the era of COVID-19, mass gatherings in shelters won't be an option. Check with your accommodation provider to see if they can provide you with an emergency kit with a radio, water, food, and other survival basics. If you're flying into an area which might be impacted by a hurricane, remember, flights can be disrupted by weather situations and you could be separated from your luggage. Make sure you pack necessities in your carry-on bags, including medications. Travel insurance, it's always a good idea, but since the COVID-19 outbreak, many travel insurance companies have written in a pandemic clause, allowing them not to pay off if your cancellation is related to the outbreak. In the case of a hurricane affecting the beaches here in North Carolina, the state Department of Insurance tells me you should be covered, but you need to check with the entity who sold you your policy to make sure. In general, travel insurance covers trip cancellation, trip interruption, and travel delays. Another thing regarding travel insurance, once a storm is forecast to hit an area, it becomes what insurance calls a foreseeable event, which means you can no longer buy travel insurance for that destination during the period the storm would impact it. And remember, if a storm hits interrupting your vacation, there are likely to be power outages, which means no internet. So carry a hard copy of your travel insurance and other important documents. Also, no electricity means no credit or debit card usage, so carry some cash, too. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasher.